guys, some Oklahomans are now in recovery mode after tornadoes touched down last night. Fox 25's David Chazanoff joins us live from Noble. So David, tell us how are people doing there tonight? Yeah, Wendy, the storm only hit a portion of the town, but you can still see it's taking its toll. I'm going to take a step out so you can see what we're looking at here. It's just debris scattered everywhere on this road on Main Street, but residents tell me they're just happy they're okay. Just a large crash, uh, glass breaking, and uh, the weirdest deafening sounds that I've ever heard in my entire life. Scott Barbie's family of seven hid in a small storm shelter during the tornado. We could hear the sirens going off and um, my wife's like, hurry up, hurry up, get in here. And I slam that door shut and, and turn the dial. So much can change in a few minutes. Maybe scarred a little bit. As a day later, crews are cutting tree branches off his roof. I've always wanted to see a tornado up close, but I wanted to see it where it wasn't damaging anything. Um, needless to say, I, I think I changed my view of that. It's not easy to move on for business owners like Bobby Sharma. He says it will likely take his convenience store a month to recover from the damage. We are coordinating with insurance company, then roofing company, electricity company, plumbing company, and ONG too. He says recovering from this won't be an easy task. I'm sad, you know, just sad for my employees too. While Barbie says his family is ready to return to normal. It could have been a lot worse, but we're, we're happy with what we have. It's just a home. And Sharma says he's going to do everything he can to help his employees while his business is closed. Reporting live in Noble, David Chazanoff, Fox 25 News.